Hi guys, welcome to Spice Box Kitchen. This is Arpita here, and today we are going to be making Thai green curry. So we're going to start off with the Thai green curry paste. For that, you're going to need a few green chilies. I've opted to go for less because the kids don't like it too spicy, but you can add in um, as many green chilies as you like, preferably bird's eye. I've got one stalk of lemongrass, two shallots, couple of kaffir leaves, um, the lime leaves, um, coriander store, uh, coriander leaves, four garlic cloves, salt to taste, half an inch of ginger, and then 15 to 20 odd um, stalks of um, Thai basil leaf. I've got roasted cumin here, one teaspoon, and one teaspoon of roasted coriander. What I'm going to do is put all this into the blender and blitz it together. Right, as you can see it's into a fine paste. What I'm going to do is add a little bit of oil to this. And just give it a blitz again. Right, so the paste is now done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start making the Thai green curry. For that you're going to need about 500 grams of chicken thighs do not use boneless as it tends to go a bit dry i've got some chopped vegetables here things like beans baby corn mango touts um, and mushrooms and then i'm going to use coconut milk in a pan add oil To that, I'm going to add the chicken. Just going to add the chicken in. To this, I'm now going to add in the Thai green curry paste that we made. One big spoon full of that. Add it according to your taste and give it a good mix. Let that cook for a few minutes. Now going to add in the coconut milk or coconut cream. Just have a look at how nice and green that is. Just going to let this simmer for about five minutes before adding the vegetables in. To these, I'm going to add in all my vegetables. You can add in any vegetables of your choice. Right, to this, I'm going to add in a few red chilies and the lime leaves just to give it a bit of uh, extra taste. As you can see, it's nicely bubbling away. 